Hi, welcome to Blender 4.5 course. In this course, we'll start Blender 4.5 LTS version from scratch. And this course is very useful for who wants to begin Blender and also the users. They have already working with Blender and want to learn Blender 4.5. In this course, I'll cover modeling animation, material and shader design, UV mapping, rendering, lighting, compositing, and so on, completely from scratch. I'll upload one part of the course every week, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to know about the latest tutorials on this course. Also, I'll upload the full course on the blackcave.com store soon. And you can access to the full course on this website. Also, it has bonus chapters. Right, let's start the Blender 4.5 LTS or long time support uh, version is the most uh, stable version of this. Blender. So let's start with the user interface. We have the file edit, render window and help menus, which we can uh, create and add a new Blender file here. General is the general purpose project to the animation, which it will activate um, to the painting for us and some features related to the 2D sculpting, which it will activate the high poly sculpting like ZBrush and Rhinosaurus software, if you know about them. VFX, which is good for uh, creating uh, some complicated VFX systems and particle systems. Uh, we will work with them later in the future videos and video editing, which it uh, provides some basic properties and tools to edit your video. You can open a scene and another Blender file. Uh, you can save or save as your current Blender project and import uh, 3D models and other assets to your project and export your models to another file except the Blender. And you can quit the project. If you press the save add, we can save your project and the file type is a uh, dot blend. I need to say I'll uh, ignore some options and tools and I'll explain it gradually in the future videos. But I uh, focus on uh, basic and most important menus and parts at the first. In the edit menu, we can access to the undo and redo. Uh, we can change the history with these uh, two options. We can press Ctrl Z for undo and redo is uh, Shift Ctrl Z. In some other software, we can press Ctrl Y to redo, but here we have Shift Ctrl Z. Here we can uh, search for a specific menu if we can't find it and this is very useful. Also uh, we can rename a selected object in the scene and here we can access to some settings uh, related to the blender. For example, we can change the user interface, viewports, manage the add-ons and plugins and import uh, everything we want. We can access the themes and modify them. We can change uh, the keyboard settings, especially if you have minimal keyboards. You can change uh, some keys. For example, if you want to switch the camera, you need to press the zero key on the numpad. Some keyboards doesn't have numpad and you need to change it. For example, my keyboard doesn't have numpad and I need to change the camera option to, for example, control shift and zero. I'll do it later. Here in the system, we can change uh, the settings related to the render engine. For example, we can select one of these options based on uh, the GPU. If you have 
NVIDIA GPUs, you can select CUDA. If you have, I think, uh, AMD, you need to use this hip and so on. All right, in the render section, we can render an animation or image, a single shot, single frame from our scene. We can also render an audio. We can view the render. Uh, if we render something, and then close the rendering window. Uh, we can open the render view again using this button or animation. In a window, we can create a new window and place it uh, here and the main window which is this we can place it here and we have a split screen capability or if we have other monitors or a white monitor we can add uh, many windows infinite number of windows as much as we want for example if we select new window here we have a simple window and here, uh, which I'll explain in detail later, we can switch to other environments. Or uh, with this, we can add another window similar to this main window. Here we can change the workspace, go to the next workspace, previous workspace and uh, even we can save the workspace. Here in the help we can access the manuals, tutorials and support team. Using these fields, these panels, we can change the entire Blender environment. For example here we can access to the default uh, workspace and default environment of the Blender. We can go to the modeling section, we have advanced tools for modeling. In the sculpting section, uh, we can easily access the sculpting capabilities, just like uh, ZBrush software, for example. Here we can access to the UV editing. This is related to the texturing. If you don't know about UV mapping and UV editing, I'll explain it later. As I said, uh, it's a from scratch course and it's useful for beginners and also who is familiar with Blender. In the texture paint, we can paint on the model easily and create our texture. In the shading, we can uh, define our shaders and materials to add effect to our models and apply the textures and so on. This is very useful and I'll focus on it uh, in depth later. In the animation, as it's obvious, uh, we can animate our models and our entities in this 3D view. We have a timeline which is useful for animation. In rendering we can access to the uh, renders. Uh, here if we render an image we can access to the rendered image here. In the compositing we can add uh, many features to the result to the final render for example adding more realism adding light shafts adding black outlines and so on here in the geometry nodes uh, we can add a logic to finally add some automation to our workflow for example adding uh, 100 cubes to the scene randomly position randomly in the scene and and some other automation systems. In this scripting, uh, we can write scripts in Python language to um, add automation systems just like geometry nodes, but we have extra features using Python. All right, let's get back to the layout. And here we have a 3D view. In the 3D view, uh, we can rotate the camera using middle mouse button easily. We can press the shift and middle mouse button to pan the camera. We can uh, press the control and middle mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. And also you can scroll. Also you can select everything you want in the scene cube, this light and this camera and you can see a list of your objects and entities in the scene using this window. I'll explain later 
what a collection is same collection and collection but you can see the entities in the scene here for example camera cube and light you can select them here or here also in this list which is very important you can access to many features for example selecting the render engine selecting uh, the exporting format uh, changing the model and entities attributes and so on uh, select this cube and you can see some features changed or this here we have material this is related to the uh, 3d model but for the light we don't have material section i'll deep dive in uh, to this section later here at the bottom we have a timeline uh, which is related to the animation and we can close it right click and close the area if you don't want it i'll explain it in the animation section and i'll explain what the timeline is also we have some options here uh, that we can move rotate and scale our objects and modify them and also in the tab here we have access to some uh, useful features for example we can change the workspace and environment here for example let's switch to compositing without this button we can easily uh, choose compositor here and we have access to the compositor window and we can get back to the 3d viewport here here we can uh, change the view and viewport you can select a specific object or all the objects you can add uh, objects here and scene entities and we can do some operations on the objects in the scene using this menu I'll explain this step in detail later based on our needs. Also, we have a hidden uh, menu which we can press the N key and we can access to some uh, other features. Uh, features related to the selected item in the scene or some tools and some properties related to the viewport. This vision and this camera I, I can see the scene through it uh, is the viewport and you can press the n key to hide this menu again all right this is the blender ui and the basics related uh, to the environment of the blender in the next part i'll focus on more details uh, for example rotating moving and scaling objects in the scene and modifying them